Hello and welcome to our live session for students and future applicants at the University of Architecture, Civil Engineering and Geodesy in Sofia, Bulgaria. I am Stephanie, Marketing Manager at Interhex. This is Professor Dr. Ivan Markov, Rector at the University, and Christo Christov, student at the University. If you're interested in any questions, please ask them below the, below the video in the discussion box. The last 10 minutes of our discussion are dedicated to answering your questions. Hello. Hello. Uh, dear uh, Professor Markov, could you please introduce yourself and the university? Uh, I myself uh, am uh, director of the university and I'm a professor in structural uh, mechanics. Uh, that's, uh, I think that's enough. The university was founded in 1940 as a high technical school. In 1945, it was transformed into a state polytechnic. In 1953, the polytechnic was divided into several institutes, one of them being the Institute of Civil Engineering, which was renamed to High Institute of Civil Engineers in 1963 and to High Institute of Architecture and Civil Engineering in 1977. Uh, in 1990, by the decision uh, of our General Assembly, the Institute was renamed to University of Architecture, Civil Engineering and Geodesy. The official accreditation uh, being voted by the Parliament in 1995. Up to now, more than uh, 20,000 engineers and architects have been graduated from the University of Architecture, Civil Engineering and Geodesy. The full-time academic staff is about uh, 347 uh, recruited by open competition. The main objectives of uh, the university are to provide high quality, high, high education in the architecture and civil engineering, to offer a rich choose, choice of uh, postgraduate educational qualifications to realize scientific research and effective cooperation with national and international public and private institution, institutions in the following field. Uh, the university has uh, five faculties. Uh, these are uh, fields uh, of education and research. First, uh, first, Faculty of Architecture, with subjects Architecture, Urban Planning, Bachelor and Master's Program for both, and Master's Program for Master's in Contemporary Architectural Technology, English Language, Architecture, Theory and Criticism in English Language. Also, main course Architecture we uh, teach in Bulgarian and English languages. Faculty of Structural Engineering with subjects Structural Engineering, direct master program five years long in Bulgarian and English and master program in various fields in Structural Engineering, Construction Management, Bachelor program. Faculty of Hydraulic Engineering. This faculty is unique for Bulgaria uh, with subjects uh, water supply and sewerage, hydraulic engineering, irrigation and drainage engineering, uh, all uh, these are the direct master program and similar master programs for bachelors and masters. Faculty of transportation engineering with transportation engineering, direct master programs and master programs for masters and bachelors, geotechnical engineering, transportation engineering. Faculty of geodesy with subjects geodesy, direct master program, and land and uh, bachelor program, real estate management and planning, and master programs for masters and bachelors management of European inf infrastructural project, cadaster, photogrammetry, and spatial information systems. All subjects of the university are in Bulgarian and English, all courses. The foreign students who preferred to study in Bulgarian and in English also can study languages at university if it is necessary in uh, pre preliminary one-year courses. 
About 3,500 Bulgarian and foreign students study at the university now. Now we teach students and doctoral students from Bulgaria, Ukraine, Moldova, Turkey, Macedonia, Serbia, Poland, Greece, Vietnam, Kuwait, uh, Cyprus, Moldova, Russia, Romania, Albania. They study in Bulgarian and English. The professional career of the graduates is the best judgment of the quality of education in the University of Architecture, Civil Engineering, Geodesy. A great number of them are working as designers, researchers, lecturers, and uh, managers, both in Bulgaria and in numerous countries in Europe, Asia, Africa, and America. I would like to mention that almost all buildings in Bulgaria, dams, roads, bridges, are perfectly designed and built from architects and engineers who graduated from the University of Architecture, Civil Engineering, and Geodesy. I am very proud of architects and engineers who designed and built buildings, dams, roads, bridges, plants, railways, all over the world, especially in Germany, Middle East, Asia, and Africa. Thank you very much for the information. Uh, University of Architecture, Civil Engineering, and Geodesy is actually located in the city center of Sofia and attracts many international students. But could you please, me, uh, please tell me about like, the opposite direction? Uh, does the university participate in any Erasmus Plus programs or does it have any partnerships? Yes, yes. Uh, the cultural and humanitarian aspects of the education at the University of Architecture, Civil Engineering and Geodesy presume attendance of courses in foreign languages, philosophy and psychology. Furthermore, participation in joint projects under such European programs like FAIR in the past, uh, Tempus, Inco Copernicus, CIPUS, now also, as well as Socrates and Leonardo, contributes to the same aspect aimed eventually at the graduates to successfully pursue their careers in international environment. Now, we are working in Erasmus, in Erasmus Plus uh, programs. Students from our university study in foreign universities and foreign students study at the University of Architecture, Civil Engineering, and Geodesy. And they defended their diploma thesis at the uh, University of Architecture, Civil Engineering, and Geodesy from Denmark, Spain, France, Belgium, Germany for diplom uh, diploma thesis. We really uh, realize very good cooperation design bureaus and construction contractors and there this ensures possibilities for our students make good to make good training in the real practice. The students obtain skills and experience in the building industry. Thank you for the information. I'm really glad to see that there are so many projects and partnerships that the university offers. And uh, are there any projects that the university is looking forward to? Uh, we started uh, in September last year, new project for repairing and uh, renovation of the central building of the university, hydraulic laboratory. This is a national hydraulic research laboratory and sport hall on the basis of European program regional development with a cost 3 million level. Uh, we apply and I'm sure in our success in different European funds for build and establish new research centers, earthquake engineering. Uh, now we prepare applicants uh, application for this center because it's very important not only for Bulgaria because Bulgaria is a uh, seismic uh, zone, but for uh, many countries of the world, we, uh, all of us, uh, all of us uh, knew, uh, know uh, how important uh, the earthquakes and uh, uh, resisting of uh, structural instability against uh, uh, earthquakes are. Environmental engineering also, laboratory we uh, uh, preparing and Bulgari Bulgarian cultural inheritance. Thank you. Uh, 
And yeah, you mentioned the laboratory, sports hall, so it will be interesting to listen to the students' perspective now. Uh, hello, Christo, uh, and uh, thank you for joining our live session. Could you please introduce yourself and what you study, why you chose to study your specialty? Well, it was a long run trying to get to the university because I'm from a small town in Bulgaria and I remember going twice uh, a week uh, to the classes, to the drawing classes, to prepare myself for the final three exams. And I'm very glad that uh, I'm part of the university now. Um, I'm studying architecture, third year, and um, this year I had four big um, classes, four big projects. Uh, one of them was uh, uh, architectural constructions, um, also urbanization, um, uh, also residential buildings, and uh, the last big prog uh, project was uh, uh, about agricultural buildings. And um, I put a lot of effort in them, and I can say that I'm pleased with the results. Of course, they're not perfect, but um, I think that uh, they helped me a lot in order to understand architecture more. And um, I'm very happy that uh, I was part of the, uh, the study. And um, also this year I am uh, working in an architectural firm and uh, this uh, helps me a lot to understand more fully the education and why we have uh, certain uh, projects and why are we doing it like that. And, also, uh, and actually the university gives you an opportunity to um, take an internship if you want. Um, so that you uh, have more practical skills, which is very good because um, most of the people don't realize why, why are they doing certain things, and uh, this helps a lot. Um, also, a lot, lot of people uh, consider about going to Erasmus programs, uh, which is a very cool idea because you go and um, educate yourself for, for a year uh, in a different system, um, which... Uh, gives you another perspective of things. Um, the university helps you a lot, supports your, um, your going and um, uh, helps with the, the papers, filling the papers. <coughs> uh, most of the architects uh, I know go m maybe the fourth year because they want to have the basic, uh, the basic learning in, in the university and then to go and see how others are doing it. For instance, what countries do they usually go? Well, uh, the Czech Republic is actually uh, a destination they really prefer. Also France, of course, uh, England, uh, a lot of countries, actually. Right. Well, it was good to hear about the internships. Mm -hmm. internships yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good to hear about the internships. Mm -hmm. I'm sure that a lot of students have this problem, like having a subject, mm -hmm. having no idea why you study it. Uh, and as uh, Professor uh, Dr. Markov mentioned, uh, they're interesting laboratories, and I've heard about the Smart Fab Lab. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's it was a, it's a really cool place. Uh, actually, uh, it's a collaboration between the university and the Smart Fab Lab communities around the world. There are maybe thousands of them um, now, and um, it's it's a cool place where you can actually use um, uh, machines to. Build, build cool stuff, and uh, I use them for uh, making my architectural models. Uh, here is <laughs> one of them. Uh, I, I have used a 3D printer and laser cutter um, to cut plywood, and 3D printer with uh, ABS to, to build the, the building. And it's really interesting because uh, uh, models these days are not preferred as uh, as a showing, but uh, actually they give you a more, um, um, more full uh, understanding of the building and what your actually concept is. And I think that uh, models will, will have their time in a few years. So yeah. this is built with the 3D printer? Yeah, part of it and the other with laser cutter, nice. with plywood. <laughs> I've yeah. always wondered how it looks like. <laughs> And uh, also, uh, there are other places like uh, Projektirane or Room 505, where uh, there are working spaces where uh, students can actually um, work together and um, help each other 
Um, part of the education is uh, your teachers telling you the information and uh, uh, motivating you to to do the to do your work. But uh, there are other people also who uh, who helps you who help you a lot in your uh, growing as an architect or engineer. And those are your colleagues. And you must uh, be open-minded and uh, try to um, to hear what they are want wanting to tell you because uh, most of the, the the people are really really cool and they help you a lot and places like those uh, really uh, brings you together and you work together and you help each other and this is a it's really cool because you feel the community. I think in Bulgaria and our university is um, uh, this is really cool because it, n not um, it's not like you're on yourself. It's like not like you wanted to be uh, only a professional uh, architect or uh, an engineer, but uh, you help each other and you you see that this helps you too. Uh, it's a two way. Uh, to two, it's, it's going two ways, yeah. Nice, and uh, are there any events of the university that you have attended so far? Uh, well, th there are a lot of events. I, I it's, it's, uh, it's really hard to uh, actually um, know all of them because, <laughs> because every every uh, every week maybe there there's a new event. Uh, it's from architectural uh, competitions to building a spaghetti bridge. Uh, it's uh, making a model out of pasta and then uh, seeing how the uh, engineering structure works and how much weight can can it uh, hold. And uh, also there are a lot of lectures like uh, uh, leaders are building uh, where um, firms from Bulgaria come and uh, um, talk about uh, innovative ways of uh, building. Uh, also, there are a lot of discussions in the university. Most of them are hosted in Projektirane, but also in other um, halls. Uh, it's, it's really interesting to go to them because you hear the opinion of other people about certain topics, and uh, mm, I think it helps you a lot in order to understand architecture and uh, also um, uh, towns are uh, uh, like an like a, a structure uh, and um, also there are sports events like uh, football tournaments and and others it they're really a lot <laughs> i have participated also in a competition about uh, log design for erasmus um, there were a lot of cool stuff as a designers uh, that uh, were, were tried as a design yeah so it was it's really cool how many years is actually uh Studying architecture. Uh, well, fifth and a, uh, five and a half maybe, uh, because um, uh, for the last project uh, you have a, a half a year in advance, I think. Uh, yeah, so five and a half years. Nice. I'm I'm only yeah. halfway to the <laughs> to the whole thing, and we really You'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> and besides university, how is life in Sofia so far? Well, I come from a small town where uh, it's quite different mm -hmm. from Sofia, high school. Oh. Uh, and uh, here it's really different. At the beginning, it was very frightening uh, to, to come here because there are a lot of people. <laughs> uh, but uh, in, in time, you get used to it. And actually, it's a, it's a place where you can find everything. Mm -hmm. And uh, <coughs> the cool thing is I, I, I personally like uh, board games, uh, escape rooms, and stuff like this. And uh, here there are bars like that where you can play board games and, and stuff. And also a lot of parks in Sofia. And the, the cool thing is that uh, actually you always have a discount because you're a student. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's kind of cheap. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, thank you for the information. Um, some students are already asking, like, what do you plan to do after your studies? Well, it's uh, kind of early to actually say because, as I said, I'm only halfway to the whole thing. But uh, I don't know. I, I want to be part of an architectural firm, maybe, and uh, to build uh, build buildings. But also, I'm very interesting uh, interested in uh, 3D modeling. So maybe s also some some sort of models. Uh, 
uh, like like this uh, can be prepared. I don't know. It's nice. We so wish you luck in any case. Yeah. I'm pretty sure that a lot of students need some time before deciding what to do after their studies. Mm -hmm. And actually, one step before that, uh, why did you choose University of Architecture and uh, civil engineering and geodesy, and why architecture as a specialty, actually? Well, I had no doubt, because this is the best university for architecture and civil engineering in Bulgaria. And everyone knows that. It's like <laughs> basic. Uh, uh, but uh, architecture, maybe, uh, well, m my, my parents are accountants, uh, so nothing in common. Uh, but uh, my um, um, my grandfather is uh, uh, making things from wood, and he always wanted to become an architect, but uh, didn't had the chance to, to to go to university. And maybe partly I'm uh, just uh, going to his dreams and trying to accomplish them. And also I really like math and uh, uh, drawing, so it was. Uh, this thing. But actually, architecture, as I uh, went to the ES, uh, I now think that it, it, it's a whole different thing. I have no idea what it is. And uh, every year, in every project, after every project, I, I see how different it is, actually, and how, um, how you have to, to give something from yourself in order to, to do something good. It's not just building a house or or uh, designing something, or uh, uh, urbanization of cities, uh, but it's uh, it's more about uh, mm, giving something from yourself and uh, seeing uh, it growing up uh, as a as an idea. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, so we have two questions actually from students. The first one. Um, People are asking if you study at the University of Architecture, Civil Engineering and Geodesy, can you work abroad in Europe afterwards? I think I think so. I think of so. Of course. Yes, if you want. Yeah. Uh, everybody who graduated uh, from the university can uh, work uh, all over the world and uh, we have uh, a lot of uh, students uh, uh, who work uh, now in uh, Germany, France, uh, Great Britain, uh, by the way I have met uh, with uh, uh, structural engineer, engineers uh, who graduated uh, from uh, uh, our university in London, in uh, uh, design bureaus, uh, construction contractors uh, and uh, so on, in Russia, yes. also in Greece, uh, uh, Africa, especially uh, in the Middle East. Nice. All uh, subjects of the university, all students uh, who uh, graduate uh, from uh, our university can work uh, everywhere. Yes, actually, because uh, Euro Bulgaria is in the European Union, the diploma uh, one gets here is inter internationally recognized, so it's a nice opportunity to gain your higher education uh, in I Europe. It's one reason, but uh, our diplomas uh, wa were very nice. I uh, mean that our students are skilled and experienced, and when uh, Bulgaria was not in the European uh, Union, uh, again, our students worked in these countries. Mm -hmm before uh, joining uh, to the European uh, Union. Mm -hmm. uh, one short question for Christo. What is your favorite subject in architecture? One person is asking. Uh, very difficult question. Very, very difficult question. I don't know. Uh, I, have, I haven't seen all of the subjects yet. Uh, the next semester I will have other classes which I haven't participated in yet. But I think so far, uh, maybe uh, this project is one of my favorite uh, about uh, residential buildings. It, it, it's really interesting because you e residential uh, buildings. Yeah, because you um, you think about a person and a family and you design for them. It's a very small group and very specific, uh, mm -hmm. and you can uh, go to every detail if you want uh, to make the house uh, working. Mm -hmm. So I think that. For now, is that, but maybe in a few years I'll, I'll tell a different story. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, one question for the rector we have: um, What are when 
do people apply for the universities uh, for the university and what are the admission requirements uh, everybody who wants uh, to apply uh, to the university uh, uh, can see uh, our uh, conditions uh, in the site of the university but uh, uh, they, uh, I'll, I'll mention some things, uh, of course, but the details uh, you can see uh, in the site. Uh, they make a short test in uh, mathematics, uh, Bulgarian or English uh, uh, for foreign students, uh, because uh, they should be able to study at the university. Uh, on the other hand, uh, they uh, should have a diploma from uh, high schools uh, uh, in their countries. That's all. Yeah, and um, when when do they ap when should the person actually apply? Uh, we can apply uh, permanently, but the academic year begins uh, from uh, 11th of September. Mm -hmm. uh, one more question we have here uh, is how many people do you do usually apply and how many people get accepted at the university each year? Uh, different. Uh, uh, we have different situations. Uh, sometimes we have uh, three or five uh, people uh, for one place for uh, one student, sometimes uh, more, sometimes uh, less. Okay, so it can it's be quite... It's not the Okay, uh, so if, you don't, if we don't have any other questions, uh, I would like to thank you for the discussion. And uh, if you're interested in any other question, you're always welcome to contact Interhex study in Bulgaria.